My name is Kenneth Dahl. I'm from the ETPC, European Factor Pooling Committee. We are here today at the Great Eggleston Showground together with all the BTPA classes. There also is a METAS Eurocup. So three of the five classes in the METAS Eurocup is having their final run here today. So as Kenneth says, we've got the final rounds in the METAS Eurocup Championship for three classes here this weekend. That's Pro Stock and Heavy Modified on Saturday and Light Modified on Sunday. This is the culmination of a long season for these three classes who have been competing throughout Europe every few weeks, with titles still to be decided in both Pro Stock and Heavy Modified. In addition to the ETPC Metus Euro Cup competition, the home BTPA Championship will run side by side, which will give some great fields today, and that could really mix things up for the Euro Cup competitors. We took a closer look at the BTPA side of things in last week's show, but today we're going to feature the entire competition, and that means 17 tractors on the entry list for Pro Stock. So the stage is set, the track is in perfect condition after the BTPA classes have been pulling all day. As we head into the final round for the Pro Stocks, looking at the top five teams, three are technically still in contention for the championship, but it's all for Rocky to lose today. So let's see what some of our drivers think about their chances this weekend. Over to you, Kenneth. And I'm here together with uh, Michael Galskor from the John Deere team from Denmark. Michael, you are very uh, in the top three in the Eurocup last event. What's your expectation for tomorrow? Hopefully we can stay in the top three in the final. So I don't, the, the top one, uh, number one is not possible anymore. But uh, hopefully number two or three. Okay, so you are you are pretty sure that number one will not, if a bad, a bad pull tomorrow, then I think you're still uh, possible to have a, a, a final title. Yeah, then he shall make a big mistake, and I don't think he do that. So I think number one is not possible. And we also caught up with second place Carway Runaway Deer. There also is a, at least one John Deere just very close to you also. So I think everything everything is possible today. Yes, everything is possible, and we have we need to win for the championship, and uh, with a, with a little bit of luck, but we, we we will try, and and also a second place is also nice. And nothing nothing wrong with luck. Uh, what did you did you do anything special preparations for today's final run here in Great Eggleston? No, we changed uh, a few weeks ago something on the engine, and that's uh, it runs very good now at the moment. So uh, we stay at as last uh, bull. Rob, welcome to Great Eccleston. Thanks for joining us. Lots of tough competition in the EuroCup here this afternoon. Yeah, it's always a, it's always a tough class. I mean, there's 12 good tractors. There's not a bad one amongst them. It's going to be it's going to be tough. Everything running okay under the bonnet? Yeah, I hope so. We've had a few niggles this year, but nothing nothing major. Um, uh, yeah, I think we're we're good to go really. Ted Nicholson, Rough Justice team, for many years been a part of the EuroCup competition, but this year only a national in uh, in England. But tonight, with all the guys from uh, Eurocup, how will uh, Rough Justice hold up against them? Oh, we'll have to wait and see, Kenneth. Say, there's some very strong competition here today. There's, as I say, the Eurocup is the best of Europe, and uh, if we can be not too far behind some of them, we'll be, we'll be well happy. 17 tractors in total, I think, are on the starting list at the moment. So, uh, 11 from the, the EuroCup and six also additional ones for the British Championship. There's two in the EuroCup which are also in the British Championship, which sort of complicates it a little bit. So if we do badly in one, we do badly in both. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's going to be tough. Uh, the sledge will be uh, set pretty mean. Um, you know, the top guys in Europe, you, you know what they're like. They're, uh, they're on a mission most of the time. So we'll see, see what happens in, uh, in the competition, yeah. You just said you know what happens. Well, you do know what happens because you compete regularly around Europe. So so where do you actually sort of fit your performance in with all of those? Because obviously you're not going to be at the very top, but you're not at the bottom either, are you? No, I think we're, we're I would like to think we were, if you looked at an F1 grid, we're sort of down on the sort of seventh or eighth row and occasionally we pop in the top 10 uh, just to annoy them really because we quite like that. And uh, no, we're, we're really a privateer and uh, we try and do what we can. We've got some very good sponsors that help us with uh, a lot of stuff, but those guys, the top five or six on there, they're professionals and uh, they're on it every weekend, particularly the Dutch guys. They have a competition uh, in, in Holland every week and uh, let alone doing invitation pools and EuroCup. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty hard work. And I think the secret is if you can be reliable, which we have been this season so far, touch wood, um, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, we just like to mix it up occasionally.
A quick look at the entry list before we hand over to Andy Miller in the commentary box. Thanks Paul. And here we are then, down to the serious end of the competition, the Mitas Euro Cup Series, Pro Stock category. Most of the competition around Europe, up to eight countries. These guys have just come back from Hungary a couple of weeks ago, and we're going to see what they can do. This is John Deere 2, Michael Galsgaard at the wheel, one of the interviewees earlier, and he's currently in third place in the standings, so he'll be looking for a nice, strong start to this competition. He's got it all under control. This is going to be a nice run down the track here. Full pull. Now we'll have to wait and see if the track crew are going to change the setting on the sled. We'll leave it alone and let them run tonight. Confirmation, yes, the sledge is set. So the tractors are in competition now. And the second guy up, this is Bredel Brothers Redline, driven by Tobias Bredel Christiansen. Second Danish competitor in this competition this evening getting stronger and stronger all season. In fact, podium finish in Hungary, so let's see what it could do today. Oh no! That looks like it's come out of gear or he's done something in the transmission. Let's hope they can get that fixed. Have a look at it. A little bit of concern there from the crew chief. And he'll come back later on to see if he can compete further down in the competition. Allowed to drop six places with a technical difficulty, so we'll see him, as I say, later on. Down the order. Now, next one, this is Diesel Ross, driven by Gert Stessens. The only Fent in the competition today. This tractor's had a lot of work done over it the last season and a half. Very, very strong machine now. Nice balance down the track. Seems to have got exactly the same result as John Deere. Nice full pull there, Diesel Ross. You just have a look at the replay. You'll notice the weight transfer sledge behind. These guys will be pulling somewhere in the region of 60 tonne by the time they get up to the top end of the track. 100 metres in just under 10 seconds. So, two full pulls already. Team look happy with that one, and we'll see Gert in the final. Now our first Dutchman, and this is William De Vos driving his machine Extreme Temptation. Currently sitting in fourth place in the overall point standing. Good result today, might get him up into the top three for the overall series. He'll be going for the win tonight in Great Eccleston. Seen somewhere in the region of 90, 95 kilometers per hour wheel speed. As I say, doing this run in under 10 seconds. Nice control, full pull there from Extreme Temptation. Third person in the final. Nice run there from William. He'll go back, check the tractor over. Track is being prepared for the next competitor. Now over to Sweden, and this is Green Dragon. Will Roger Svensson, formerly of the John Deere team. This was John Deere 1 in its original guise, the tractor. They sold it a number of years ago. You can see the John Deere team helping him there on the line. I'm going very well again tonight. Pretty good balance from all the tractors so far. You can see them coming up. Booking in, nice constant height. If you look at the replay there, we can see them fighting away from the line. Looking a constant transfer onto the sled. And a nice straight run there from Roger. Now our only lady in the competition, this is Renata van Riet, driving Blue Hazard. From Amada in the Netherlands. Very popular young lady over there, tractor's well known. Both her and her father drive it in competition, but today Renata's driving. Renata. 
like a new Holland in the competition this evening. Hopefully we'll see Bredel Brothers red line back again. He had problems earlier. And now Blue has it. A little bit lower on the balance, but a nice fast run. Full pull for Renata. So the atmosphere is starting to build here. Five in the final. The crowd really getting into it. And the floodlights will be on soon, so even more fun. Now, one of the English competitors actually in the Mitas Euro Cup series, and this is Mike Simmons, driving Ice Bear. We heard from the team earlier in the interview that uh, they better get it right in this tonight because it's also the British Championship round at the same time. A little bit of problem in the last round in Hungary. Had a breakage on the tractor. Ooh, a little bit of a stutter off the line there. Now she's rolling. Lovely balance there from Ice Bear. Looks as though Mike's got it under control. Yep, joining the others in the final there. Full pull for Ice Bear. head on there you can see the weight transfer sled the box coming forward making it harder to pull as you get further up the track enough forward speed and there it is full pull so as we see the Valtra ice bear with Mike Simmons there prepping to go back to the pits next up is our third Danish competitor and this is Il Tempo Gigante Bose Fenson at the wheel had some teething issues during the season. Tractors really started to get a little bit better. A bit more horsepower now under the bonnet. See what he can do. It's only 100%. I think that's going to bring him up short. And yep, just losing the boost from the charger there at the end of the run. And a distance of 92 meters and three centimeters. We have our other Danish competitor back. Redel Brothers Red Line. He had a problem in the first run. Looks as though he dropped out of gear or the transmission had a failure. Found another gear this time though and she looks as though she's got it all together. Super run. So two out of the three Danes in the final now. Now our second British competitor. Interviewed earlier, this is Rob Uphill with One Trick Pony. As he said, lots of strong tractors in this class. He's had a mixed season, the tracks are usually very reliable. There's one or two teething problems. See how he gets on on his home track. Beautifully turned out McCormick livery. Seems to be going well today. Oh no! Looks as though he's shut back for some reason there. Just missing the full pull. 93 meters and two centimeters for Rob. So it's not in the final tonight. It looks as though he backed off at the end there. So maybe he saw an indication on the dash or something going wrong. Now from Holland, this is Rocky. Baron Hybrex at the wheel. Current leader in the championship. It's his to lose, as they say, so let's see what you can do, Barney. Oh, a lot of ground speed there from Rocky. Looking good. And he flies out the end, makes it look so easy. So, part one done. He's got to come back in the final, see what he can do there. Our last Euro Cup competitor. And this is Kawe with Runaway Deer. Wilco Brooks at the wheel. Second place in the competition at the moment. Needs to join him in the final. Just what the doctor ordered. Cracking run there. Keeping the pressure on Rocky. So, third Dutchman in the final. So, from the EuroCup competitors, nine making the full pull out of the 11. And we had six British tractors now coming to the line to compete alongside these EuroCup guys. 
This is Paul Haylock on his machine, Panic, brought over from the States in the closed season. Really a season of dialing it in, but seems to have got it fairly well together this evening. Nice run there from Panic, shutting him down somewhere around the 85 metres. As you can see, floodlights on now, crowd getting into it. Second voucher of the evening. This is Diesel Dragon, driven by Gareth Jones. Been going well all season. Let's see what he can do tonight. Building the boost. Something not right tonight. He just rolls over the 30 metres, so that'll be his distance. No second attempt for Diesel Dragon. Now, one of our other interviewees, and this is Ted Nicholson on his track to Rough Justice. Multiple British champion, not in the Euro Cup this year, but he'll be looking to see how he can compete against these guys, but more importantly, get in front of the British guys as well that are in the Euro Cup competition. Nice run there, just looking across, and yes, full pull for Rough Justice. A bit higher than some of the tractors, but nice balance there. Run right down the middle. And we'll see Ted back in the final. Now a relatively new tractor on the British circuit. This is Big Boys Toy, formerly from the Netherlands. Massey Ferguson, 11.50. Perkins V8 in here. Totally different engine combination to the rest of the tractors out there. She's on song tonight by the looks of it. A little flutter on the turbo, but going well. And yes! Full pull for Big Boy's Toy. So as far as the British competition is concerned, that's now actually three in the final, competing for the British points. One from the Euro Cup Series, Ice Bear, Rough Justice, and now Big Boy's Toy. Bird of one of the British tractors has actually broken in the pits, so there'll only be one more coming out. And this is local man, John Eccles on Simply Red. BTPA champion from 2017, rebuilding year in 18. A different setup with the tractor, but it looks as though it's going well now. Gonna be close, he's gonna make it out the end. Gonna be tight. Oh, just missing out. 98 meters and 36 centimeters there for Simply Red. So that's it, one of the team members writing down the distances there. And we have nine from the Mitas Euro Cup Series in the final. Two British tractors joining them extra. We've heard unfortunately that Blue Hazard has a problem with the pump or with the engine. So it won't be coming out for the final, so eight from the Euro Cup to challenge for the win. And as I say, the two extra British tractors. But they'll be concentrating on the British points, so let's see what they can do. So I'm here with Hans in the pit area, currently leading the Euro Cup. You're in the pull-off with your Rocky machine. Got to finish about fourth place, have you? Fourth or fifth, I'm not exactly sure. Depends also where the competition ends. Runway wins, I think we need fourth spot, and with John Deere winning, we need fifth or sixth. So still all to play for. The track's holding out quite good, I think. I think there were some reservations about soft spot, but everybody's been locking in and doing the business. Yeah, well, we're fairly happy. We managed to keep the track going steady at a lot of ground speed, but it's always difficult uh, to see what's going on in the pull-off. They're going to change the sleds. I think they're going to have a pretty big change because everybody went through pretty easily. So you have to wait and see what happens to uh, adjust your tractor to it. So, very interesting. We have the top three from the Euro Cup Series in contention here. And also, for the British Championship, the top three in there as well. So, it's all to play for in the final. Now, to set the distance, this is John Deere 2. Currently in third position overall in the series. Looking to maintain that and see if he can sneak a little bit higher. Thinks the number one spot's out of reach, but he'd be going for it tonight. It looks a lot heavier, you can hear the tractor working very hard. Pulling them down, just over 80 metres. 
Final distance there, 84 metres and 59 centimetres. So that's the target they're all aiming for. So the gauntlet's thrown. Distance to beat, 84 metres, 59. Now diesel rocks. Good Stessens at the wheel. He's running very strongly all season. See what he can do tonight. Sled's definitely heavier. They're all working very hard. Just slightly short, I think, there. Yep. Confirmation, a final distance, 82 metres and 96 centimetres for Diesel Ross. Into second place at the moment. Now, extreme temptation to the line. Currently in fourth place overall in the series. If he can get amongst them there, he might be able to sneak onto the podium. Going to be a big ask for him. Let's see what William can do. He's all over Europe alongside the Rocky team, so they're quite commonly together in competition. It looks as though he might have done a bit of a favour there for his mate. Yeah, he's now into first position. 84 metres and 70 centimetres takes the lead. So that's put the cat amongst the pigeons. Now, Green Dragon from Sweden. Tractor's hooking well tonight. Tracks holding up well. Again, somewhere around the 80 metres. Final distance, 80 metres and 61 for Green Dragon. So, first of the British tractors, Ice Bear here. The only one in the final, the two Brits in the Euro Cup series, but obviously he's going to set the distance as well. The other two British competitors have got to beat for their own championship. Mike Simmons giving it a lot of RPM there. Making it work. Just about the same position as Green Dragon, I think. Around about the 80 metres. Yeah, 79 metres and 95. Five centimetres short of the 80 metre mark. As he goes back to the pits, that's the target for the British tractors to be. Now, Bradle Brothers, red line. I've been told he had a gear problem in the first run, so he's in his higher gear, which might struggle. Yep, can't hold that gear just a little bit too fast for him. And the final distance of 61 metres and 51 centimetres in the pull off. Now, series leader, Baron Hyperdex, Rocky. Looking to get past that distance of 84 metres and 70. I think if he manages that, he's got the competition in the bag. It looks like another fast, strong run from Rocky. Yeah, he's done it. 85 metres and 49 centimetres takes him into the lead. The ground speed there, I think that's where he's done it off the start. The team will be happy with that. Yeah, done the first bit, looks as though they're ready to celebrate. Not all over yet, but almost there. Now the guy in second place overall, and this is uh, Runaway Deer. Wilco Brooks, sponsored by Kawe. Looking to get past that distance of 85 metres and 49 centimetres. Going to be close. I think he might have just snuck past the second place. Yes, 84 metres, 78, but not enough for the win. So that's the Euro Cup contenders sorted out. Now we'll see who's going to decide the British Championship. Two more to run from the BTPA. And this is Rough Justice up first. Ted Nicholson. 
looking to get past the distance of 79 metres and 95 set by Ice Bear to take the victory in the local competition. Just pulling in down there. Final distance of 76 metres and 46. Not enough to go into the lead with the British contenders in second place though for Rough Justice. So one more to run on the night. And that's Big Boy's Toy coming out. See where they can end up in the British competition. Little turbo flutter there. It's going well though. Oh, just stalling out at the end. And a distance of 75-62, good enough for third place. So confirmation of the British points and the winners tonight. First place, Ice Bear. Second place, Rough Justice. And in third place, Big Boys Toy. So they are Mike Simmons from the Bear Essentials team with his tractor, Ice Bear. That'll put him in a good position with the point standing now. Confirmation there. Three metres distance and probably a metre then between second and third. Points there, 55 points for Ice Bear. One round to go, so a super position. To see if he can tie the championship up tomorrow. And now the results from the Mitas Euro Cup series on the day. The winner, Byron Hoybrex, with his tractor Rocky. In second place, Kawe Runaway Deer. And in third place, William DeVos with Extreme Temptation. Barney, another win here at Great Eccleston, but this time the trophy's bigger. Yeah. A lot bigger. Normally it's only for demos we drive over here, but it's also nice to win the Eurocup over here. Brilliant. Well, the fantastic result has been hard fought. You've had to go all the way to Hungary, but really worth it here, at, here, here in the night time at Great Eccleston. Yeah, it's a very good time over here. Brilliant. Well, we'll have, a, we'll have one beer tonight, shall we, together? Yeah, maybe two. No, no, just one. All right, then three then. Okay. Beers are on Simon, are they? What? Beers are on Mr. Weaving. Yeah, always. Brilliant. Best of luck. Thank you very much for joining us and congratulations, mate. OK, thank you. Thank you. Let's hear it for him. Ladies and gentlemen, Barney on the Rocky. And now, final confirmation from the series victory in the Mitas Euro Cup. Rocky, first place. Second place, Kawe Runaway Deer. And in third place, John Deere 2. Have a quick look at the final point standing there. 135 points to Rocky. Runaway Deer with 117. And in third place, John Deere 2 with 109. So, on to the second Mitas Euro Cup class for this evening. And this is the heavy modified class, the most powerful machines out there. 10 to 12,000 horsepower easily on some of these motors. And as we look at the points for the top three there in competition, very close up there. We managed to catch up with them all in the pits before the competition. A green fighter team, Dirk Wessel, you are in the lead of the heavy modified last uh, final pull today. What's your expectation? Yeah, hopefully we get a good result today. So we hope to, to hold the position. Mm. It would be a very hard race for us, but um, yeah, we have a good season and so everything is possible. And so fingers crossing for a good position today. Okay, so, uh, but it's, it's very close in the points, I think. So, uh, anything special for today prepared? Not really. Uh, we have to find a good engine setup, a good balance, and that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's what, what we need. And then we have the possibility to drive in front. Okay, Dingerink, uh, 97 points, only 10 points from the leader and the final run. Will it be a success tonight, you think? I try, but uh, it's uh, for my neighbor here, the Green Fighter, is a little bit dangerous that we be in uh, in 10 points uh, close to him. So when we win the pool tonight and he is number four, we have all the points together. We have the same points, but then we have to go with the most wins, all the same, second place the same, third place the same. So that's the ideal situation for us. When we win, he's number four, but when we win, he's number three. He's the champion. He he got the best papers in uh, in the hand right now. So, um, but we try our best. Yeah, we run, uh, of course, in different countries. We came uh, ourselves in Netherlands. We drive in France. That's uh, like Eagle, like Holland. 
And now we go to uh, we are here in Great Ecclestone this weekend, and it's a little bit different. It's the the height uh, the height from the country is a little bit higher, so the, we change not a real big things, but we um, the the this depends on the weather and the track. Uh, the tracks are not all the same. Um, we make some small changes before we go. We know the track here for many years, so uh, and today we're looking to the weather, and then we change also a little bit on the fuel systems. Mm. Then we go give it a little bit more or less fuel. Let it, let's see what happens. Okay, um, you, sometimes you need not all the horsepower, and sometimes you need more horsepower. So we play with the fuel settings every pool, and that's the thing that is a little bit different, li like the other pools, like here in Credit Ecclestone. We have done everything we we can to uh, to be ready for today. So um, so we just hope that uh, that we can uh, beat the guys and uh, and get uh, get the trophy back uh, where it uh, belongs to. <laughs> Great Ecclestone has always been uh, for us uh, to see a good track. Uh, so we have um, what we have done for this uh, this event here is uh, that we have uh, fixed our tires. But I think probably many of the teams have done that. But we have uh, we have recut them uh, on an, on another way. So we hope that we can uh, leave the line quicker this time and uh, and and get the meters in uh, in the end. So the entries for the heavy modified class in the Mitas Euro Cup series final round. And then we have two from Holland, two from Denmark, and two from Germany. Also joining them, the two British Snoopy tractors. Now, first of the track. This is Soren Jakobsen with his machine Fenrir Maxi Traction. Currently in second position. All of these multi engine machines. Four V8 Hemi motors on top of this machine. Most of them supercharged, running on methanol. A lot of horsepower, a lot of noise, and they'll be looking to do this run in about seven seconds. Absolutely flying. Shutting down there, gliding over the full pull line. Check if the sled is set. Just having a look at something on one of the motors there that after his run. So confirmation sledge is set. Now the championship leader, and this is Green Fighter. Tonight at the wheel, Enrico Volafron. Three V12 Allisons on this machine. Beautifully turned out. Somebody does a lot of polishing in the workshop on that, I reckon. Now, tractors in competition. Green lights down the track. Come on, Enrico. And that's an absolutely storming full pull. I think the sled guys were maybe a little bit light on the first run here. But it will make for an interesting final. Now from the Netherlands, this is Argus Oil's Whispering Giant. Night driven by Baz Lifting. Different setup, turbine machine here. Helicopter engines on there, four of them as you can see. We'll get it started up in the pit with the donkey engine, which is actually another mini turbine. Just connecting the other ones up. Ready to go. Nice run there. Argus Oil Whispering Giant in the final. Full pull. Just a quick look at the head on there, straight down the middle of the track. Nice balance. And into the final. So, three in the final there. Now our second Danish competitor. And then this is Leif Jorgensen with his machine called Beautiful Noise. Relatively new, third season out now. For the tractor pulling fans out there, you'll remember his old tractor, Sladehunden. 
combination of V8 and turbocharged diesels and what a sound and sight it was. But now fully V8 supercharged on board. Like a nice run there, beautiful noise through into the final. And this is Iwan, driven by Christian Sommer from Germany. Second of our turbine machines tonight. Slightly larger turbines with only three in combination here. Fair to say probably a little less horsepower than Whispering Giant that we saw earlier. Nice run there from E1. Not quite sure if they'll get out the end here though. Yep, and a final distance of 95 meters and 75 centimeters for E1. So no final pull off for you tonight, unfortunately. Still four in the final, one left to run in the Mitas Euro Cup, and then our two British competitors at the end. So another one of our interviewees, and this is the second Dutch tractor. This is Intertechno Lambada, driven by Gert Dingering tonight. Hoping for a good result. Might just stir it up a little bit at the top if you can get in amongst them. Two points behind Fenrir Maxi Traction in the overall standing, so looking to get past him tonight for sure. Nice fast run, and that's a full pull for Intertechno Lambarda. Yep. I think he's happy with it. Got on the power. So that's five out of the six competitors in the Mitas Euro Cup Heavy Modified class making it into the final. Let's see what they can do when they wake the slate up. Get back in competition. But now, just on the end of the class there, like we had in the Pro Stock class earlier, the two British tractors that are running this weight. And this is Snoopy 3, the first one out, driven by Josh Whittingham. Two Rolls-Royce Griffins running on Avgas. Let's see what he can do. This tractor's been around for a few years, local to Great Eccleston, running quite strongly. Competed in France earlier in the year at Bernay. Had a good result there. And the lighter parts have modified. Now, let's see if we can get in amongst these big boys. A little bit of backfiring there, but yes, full pull. Well done, Josh. Now his dad, and this is Kevin Whittingham with Snoopy 4. Slightly different setup on this one. Again, two Rolls-Royce Griffin engines. This time, methanol fuel injection system on the top. Different inlet manifold you can see there. And should be more horsepower. To be fair to Kevin, he's had a little bit of teething trouble trying to dial it in. A lot of fuel on board by the looks of it. See if he's got it together tonight. Oh, running okay, and then either something dropped out of gear or transmission or something there not right. Brings him up short just over the 70 metres. Ah, rear end by the looks of it. That's not good. So into the final. Five in competition for the Mitas Euro Cup win for the night. We'll see what can happen in the series overall. And the first guy out, and this is the one in second position. And this is Fenrir Maxi Traction. Currently on 99 points. Eight points back from Green Fighter, who's in the lead at the moment. And he'll be setting the distance for them all to beat. A little bit of concern at the end of the first run. I'm not sure he's actually got all motors running this time in the pull-off. Maybe he had a problem with one of them. I'm not sure she's got full horsepower out there, but we'll have a look. Doing a good job. Final distance there, 82 metres and 73 centimetres for Fenrir Maxi Traction. 
the target. Sledge a lot heavier now for the final. Now our series leader, Green Fighter. Been very strong all season this tractor. Very consistent. So Denmark in pole position at the moment. Let's see what the German tractor can do. Well, the Mitas sponsored tractors here in competition. Mitas pull the tires on. And this looks like a storming run from Green Fighter. Yeah, that's going to move the checkered flag into the lead there. 90 meters and 86 centimeters. The Green Fighter. That's going to take some catching. So three left to compete in the Euro Cup. Enrico happy with that. Could be job done. Danish contingent probably agreeing. Now Argus Oil, Whispering Giant from the Netherlands. Currently in fourth place overall. Again, he could mix it up a little bit there if he has a good result tonight. So in the final, they've started off on the right-hand side. Let's hope it doesn't cost him. Ah, it's just gone out of bounds there. Touched the white line, and unfortunately, that will mean disqualification in the final. Have a look at the head-on. Starting off on the bottom side of the track, and he's just wandered across there to the right-hand side. Out of bounds and disqualification. So with two to go, the distance still to beat, 90 metres and 86 by, set by Green Fighter. And this is beautiful noise from Denmark. Leif Jorgensen at the wheel. Let's see if he can get amongst them tonight. Been dialing this tractor in over the last couple of seasons. Getting better and better each time. On a mission tonight, by the looks of it. David all not quite enough this time, though. Coming up short, 75 metres and 66 centimetres. Puts him into third place at the moment with one to run. Now, one of our interviewees back on the track, and this is Gert Dingering, an Intertechno Lambada. Looking to get round Fenrir Maxi Traction. See if he can put some pressure on him there. Two points was all the difference was before the competition. So final run in the heavy modifieds for the Mitas Euro Cup Series for 2018. Oh no, something wrong front motor there, blower belt gone. That's not going to be enough for Gert. Have a look on the replay. You can see that front motor's gone down early in the run. And the final distance of 64 metres and 8 centimetres. Only good enough for fourth tonight for Intertechno Lambarda. <laughs> that means beautiful noise reaches the podium and some very happy Danish crew there. So, Green Fighter confirmed as the winner. Beautiful noise, making the bottom of the podium in third place, and in second place there overall, Fenrir Maxi Traction. Winners for the night there on the podium. Final confirmation, the distance is there. Green Fighter taking the win. Fenrir Maxi Traction in second, and in third place, Beautiful Noise. So, confirmation now for the final Mitas Euro Cup Series results in the heavy modified class. Overall winner, Green Fighter. Total of 137 points. Second place, Fenrir Maxi Traction. And in third place, Inter Techno Lambarda. So, confirmation of the final points tally for the Mitas Euro Cup Series heavy modified class. And as the teams head off to celebrate, 
What a wonderful evening's pulling we've had here at Eccleston. Some fantastic results, British classes, a variety of tractor pulling, with the highlight being the Euro Cup finals. And we've still got one to come in the morning, light modified. But unfortunately the weather had other ideas with an excess of 30 millimetres overnight and continued rain during the day, it was declared a rain out later on in the afternoon and unfortunately we got to see no more pulling that weekend. The consequence of this being that the winner for the light modified class was declared from the previous round's results and the overall point standing then. So congratulations to the Mitas EuroCup Series winners for this season. In the Pro Stock category, Rocky, driven by Byron Hybrex from the Netherlands. In the heavy modified class, it was Green Fighter from Germany. And declared according to the previous points in the light modified class, Wicked Screamer also from the Netherlands. So a big thank you and it's farewell to Great Eccleston for 2018. Promoters of the Northwest Tractor Pulling Club and all the helpers, what a superb job and we'll be back here again next year for more Mitas EuroCup Tractor Pulling Action.